Hey everyone, so this is part two to uh, lab 4.4, which is called Number Cruncher. Um, so as you can see here on the screen, we had the sum custom block set up and we have the average custom block set up. The next thing that we want to work on is a custom block that we call includes negative. So includes negative, as you can tell from the description of the lab, let me make sure I can spell. Basically, we want to take a list and we want to see if any of the numbers inside that list are negative. So the, um, what I'm going to do is, like we've done on the average block, I want to take sort of just the same definition. and I'm going to reuse it slightly for this new custom block. So the first thing I want to do is obviously let it have, a, um, let it have input. So I'm going to create an input called numbers list press enter and then I'm going to use that so if I bring this inside um, I want sort of a actually I don't even think I need a real shopping cart type variable so I'm going to take that out so we'll bring out some here we can see we take the length of the numbers list and again we already have code to check each part of numbers list so I'm going to take this out as well basically what I want to do is really just have an if statement and report if any of the values in the list are negative which at least, you know, facing, you know, to surface level, it, it seems pretty simple in my opinion. So I'm going to take this and we want to see if this is greater than zero. So if it's greater than zero, actually, we want to do that the other way around, right? So we want to make this right here. We want to say if zero is greater than any of the numbers right here. We just want to report and I'm going to both say in here, take this out and say includes negative. And that's really all there is to it. So if that list has anywhere inside of it a negative value, we should see that and it should just give us a simple reporter block. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that right there. Get rid of this set numbers to this and then I'm going to include a new negative number negative one so here if I take the numbers variable go ahead and put that in there and click it, it should say it includes negative now if we change this to just a normal one we'll see that that no longer displays and it's really is that simple for the includes negative block um, again the reason why I'm taking so long to kind of go through these is I feel like the application of lists in this manner is really important and it's a really good exercise it's going to come in handy later on so um, the next block that we want to try is called increasing and it basically takes a list of numbers and we want to report true if each value in the list is greater than or equal to the one um, before it so I'm going to again like before I'm going to edit this block. I'm going to duplicate that right there. That's going to come in handy. That's just kind of a generalized, like from one, from I equals one to the length of a list. It's just a very generic, like, hey, this is how you iterate through something, right? So I am going to create an other block and it's going to be um, increasing. And I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to give it a variable, which it will call numbers list. So I pull this in, so from i equals one to the length of numbers list if, and then I think what we wanna do is we wanna say if the last item in the list is less than the current item in the list. Actually here, let's do it the other way. So basically what we wanna check and what we wanna see is if the current, um, or if i minus one, so the previous item in the list is less than the current item, we wanna say not increasing. So for now, that's how I want to do it. I might come back to this a little bit later and modify it, but this basically does what I want it to. So I want to take this and I'm going to make this I minus one instead. So I'm going to pull this out minus one. And I'm going to take I right here, slap it in there. And that should do exactly what we want. So if I pull out the variables, if I go to increasing, again, I just need to give it the set block for numbers, drag numbers in there. And if I want to set this up right, so I'm just going to go and give it a pretty standard thing. If I click that, we see we don't get any alert. But if I set this to say three, 
we should theoretically get something that tells us so actually here's exactly what I did wrong I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this I wasn't looking at I was looking at I minus one which doesn't really make a lot of sense right I want to look at item I minus one of numbers list so if I put that in there click OK you can see here it says it's not increasing but if I replace this to one that condition never gets triggered um, and so that is going to be part two of lab 4.4. Um, we will have several more parts just to kind of go through in depth all the different parts of our um, lab. But that is how you create the includes a negative block and the increasing block.